All right, guys, Mikey here from Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, I got another banger of a video for use today. And it's actually one of my favorite comparison videos. I did this comparison on my old channel, Mikey Strength and Fitness. But I figure it was such a good video and such a close comparison that we do it again. Because in my opinion, this 2019 Arnold Classic version of my man Brandon Curry was really unbelievable. He looked a lot better at the Arnold Classic than he did at the 2019 Mr. Olympia. He might have been bigger at the Mr. Olympia, but he lost that nice, nice aesthetic look. And that's because he came in too heavy. Over 250 fucking pounds at about five foot seven and a half. It's just too much weight. At the Arnold, he was 244 pounds, which is a perfect weight for a guy that height. But I digress. So hopefully he learns and comes in a little smaller at the 2020 Mr. Olympia. So guys, enough with the chit chat and let's just jump right into it. So without any further ado, let's get it on. And we got the first pose of the night, guys, the front relaxed. And I'm going to tell you right off the bat that this was one of the closest comparisons I've ever done on Mikey's Iron Rage. I mean, it was so close. Wait till you guys see what happens at the end of this video. So we're going to start off with the front relaxed, guys. And I'm going to go and I'm going to get Phil Heath the first point. I love Phil Heath in the front relaxed from like 2011 to 2013. What a badass in this pose. And the reason why I love him in this pose so much is because his midsection is super tight. Don't get me wrong, Brandon Curry's midsection's even tighter, and you see what I'm saying, how Brandon Curry lost that nice aesthetic look, that nice aesthetic flow, I mean, he didn't look like this in the front relaxed at the 2019 Mr. Olympia, but I digress, so, all in all, Phil Heath is going to get the first point for the front relaxed, alright guys, now we got the ab and thigh, and I'm going to go with Brandon Curry on this one, but Phil Heath looks really good. In 2013, Phil Heath's midsection was the tightest. And in 2011, Phil Heath's midsection was the most ripped. Uh, his abs were the most deeply cut in 2011, but his midsection's super tight here. But I am going to go with Brandon Curry because Brandon Curry's midsection's even tighter. And Brandon has a better silhouette, in my opinion. All right, guys, off to the next pose. And we got the crab most muscular. And I tell you, Brandon Curry really fills this pose out really nicely. I mean, if you guys go back and look at him at the uh, 2019 Mr. Olympia, he didn't look like this in the crab most muscular. He looked very shallow. But, I mean, I can't go against Phil Heath in this pose. Look at how good Phil looks in the crab most muscular. Phil has one of the best crab most muscular poses of, in bodybuilding history, in my opinion. So Phil Heath is going to get the point there. All right, guys, now we got the side chest shot, and in 2013, Phil Heath's side chest was the worst. I'm telling you, that left arm covers up that left pec, and it makes the left pec look even smaller. The silhouette looks great, but that left pec is not popping whatsoever. Uh, Brandon Curry, on the other hand, yes, his chest is popping. He's got more striations, and the silhouette looks a little bit better, so Brandon Curry's going to get the point. All right, guys, now we got the hands on the hip most muscular, and they're holding it almost exactly the same, but I'm going to go with Phil. I think Phil holds the pose a little bit better, and I just think Phil looks a little bigger and more ripped in this pose. Uh, Brandon's vascular. He looks good. Don't get me wrong, but Phil Heath in this pose, and the crab most muscular, and the hands class most muscular... Oh my God, untouchable. Phil looks ridiculous in those poses, especially 2011 to 2013. So all in all, Phil Heath is going to get the point. All right, guys, now we got the front lat spread, and look at fucking Brandon Curry. This is the best front lat spread in bodybuilding. This might be top three best front lat spreads of all time. Then his fucking chest comes nice and striated, just like Ronnie Coleman's chest. He so reminds me of Ronnie Coleman. Now, Ronnie Coleman might be able to rival uh, Brandon Curry in this pose, but all in all, Phil Heath... He looks good, but Brandon Curry's going to get the point. But Phil Heath is pretty wide, though, huh, guys? 2013, I'm telling you guys, Phil Heath was very, very wide. But I digress. All right, guys, now we get the side tricep. And there it is, Brandon Curry with that flat fucking pancake of a tricep. No wonder why he had to use oil at the 2019 Mr. Olympia. Now, guys, think back to the 2019 Mr. Olympia and think back to what his tricep looked like. It was super smooth. It just looked artificial. It really did. So Phil Heath is going to get the point. Now Phil Heath's side tricep. Now that's a side tricep. He don't need no oil for those triceps. Nice and thick, nice and deep cut, so Phil Heath is going to get the point. 
All right, guys, off to the next pose, and we got the rear lat spread. And this was probably the hardest pose for me to judge, guys, out of this whole fucking comparison video. I'm going to go with Phil Heath, though. I think Phil Heath is a little bit better. Um, he's holding a little bit more water, Brandon Curry, in the uh, back department, in my opinion. Phil looks drier, so I'm going to go with Phil Heath. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, because that one could go either way. All right, guys, now we got the rear double bicep, and um, this is another close one because Brandon Curry had a really good rear double bicep at the Arnold Classic. I tell you, it was better than uh, the 2019 Mr. Olympia. Brandon Curry's rear double bicep looks so good, but I can't go against Phil Heath. Phil Heath in 2013 was unbelievable. Look how 3D that fucking back is. It's just a thing of beauty, so Phil Heath is going to get the point for the rear double bicep. And all right, guys, we got the last pose of the night, the front double bicep. And this was a really, really tough one. Um, Brandon Curry's silhouette looks fucking crazy. So I can't go against Brandon Curry in this front double bicep. He looks phenomenal. Phil Heath might have bigger quads. And Phil Heath's arms might be a touch bigger. But, I mean, look at Brandon. Look at the V taper. Look at the tight midsection. Look at, I mean, he just looks fucking crazy in this pose. Sometimes, guys, it's not all about how big the arms are. So I'm going to go with Brandon Curry because the silhouette is just fucking unbelievable. All right, guys, so let's tally them up. We got Phil Heath with six and Brandon Curry with four. I had 10 poses for you guys. And to be honest with you, if another pose went Brandon Curry's way, it would have been vice versa. It would have been six to four uh, Brandon Curry. Brandon Curry was so good at the Arnold Classic in 2020. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think he was better at the 2019 Mr. Olympia or the 2019 Arnold Classic? Because I think he looks better at the Arnold. So guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Mikey's Iron Rage. Peace out, guys, and I really hope you enjoyed this one.